Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to explain a Java program that connects to PostgreSQL database and performs various operations like insert, update, and select. So let's quickly move to Eclipse to understand it better. All right. So before we go to Eclipse, let's see what what all we have in our database. So I'm using PG Admin 4 as an interface to connect to PostgreSQL database. So we'll be dealing with the uh, local host server. Okay, so this is the structure of our database. So inside local host, I have a student database. So student is the database name. Inside student, we have schemas and we have public schema. Under public schema, we have a table like marks. So we'll be connecting to this uh, student database for this set. And inside that, we'll be fetching the data from the marks table. So let's see the content, what it has, the marks table. Okay, so I'm performing a select query on max. So it has one, two, three, four, five rows. So the same table we'll be accessing from our Java code using JDBC. So now let's uh, switch to Eclipse to see the Java program. Require. Okay, so mainly there are three steps which are involved to connect to database. So first step is register the registering the JDBC driver. So inside main, inside this try block, I am doing the same. So the syntax is class dot for name, and inside this we'll give org dot postgresql dot driver. So what it's gonna do? It's gonna register your JDBC driver. If it is not able to perform this thing or it, the jar file is missing, it's gonna throw some error. So you can catch the error inside the cache blocks. Okay. Now after that, I have created a connection object, connection con equal to none. Now, here in line number 28, I am creating the connection. So, how to do it? Connection equal to driver manager dot get connection. So, we are calling the get connection method of driver manager class. And inside this, we will pass these many values. So, what are they? JDBC, PostgreSQL will be the same. And after that, we need to provide host name. So since I am connecting to the local host, the port number is 127.0.0.1. If you are connecting to some different database, you need to provide the port number, host name of the same. Then you got to provide the port number. So I am using 5432. So I am providing the same. Then you got to provide the database name. So since we were connecting to student, database here so i have provided the student database there after that you got to provide your username and password for the database so these are my username and password so i provided the same again you can uh, you have to put it under try and get so if it catches some error you will get to know and you can print out it okay now the third step is fetching the result or creating the queries so first I'm gonna compare if connection is null then to fetch any result we need to create an object of result set. So I've created result set RS and initialized it with null. Okay. So okay, so well, let's see the select statement first. So the syntax is con dot create statement dot execute query okay so to execute a query you need to perform these steps a result set will be required because your query it's gonna result return some results so the result set object will be required to store that result and that connection dot create statement dot execute query so this execute query method you got to use and inside that you need to pass the query select asterisk from marks okay so once you define the result set 
the your result set object will be having the details of mark of all the rows so after that you can iterate the result set object using next while rs.next and you can perform your desired operation so whatever you want so inside this i am just printing out the values of all the columns name roll number and the subject science maths and history that's it so let's try and run the program run as java application okay so uh, you can see the output so it's uh, able to connect to the database and it's returning the results as expected okay so this is the way to uh, get the results from a table perform the select query now let's see the insert statement so for the moment i'm going to comment it out and here is the insert query so since it's not going to return any rows so the result set object is not required we can simply do con dot create statement and the method that will be called is execute update inside that you will pass your insert query insert into marks and then values whatever values you want so one two three four five values i'm gonna pass so let's change it to six because this value is already there so it will give me some constraint okay and now change the values and id now even the try and catch even this part is not required because we don't want to traverse it so so we'll add the block comments okay now let's run it run as java application okay so yeah uh, i think it is done so we can verify the same in our database okay so currently it is having five values let's see if the new value got updated or not okay so here all right you can see the new entry 106 pratik and the mark value so you were able to insert a new row successfully now let's see the last example last thing for update query so its syntax is almost similar we got to use the same method execute update okay so the inside inside the query we are gonna pass the update query update update dot mark so history equal to 99 where name is Pratik so I am just changing okay so now let's try and run it okay it is done so let's verify it from the back end i'm gonna perform a refresh okay so here you can see for the pratik 106 roll number id the value of history marks got updated to 99 okay guys so that's all for now so we have seen the program that connects to postgresql from java we have seen the example of insert update and select so please like the video if it helps please subscribe and keep watching